Hello, in this tutorial we will create MDI application in Visual C Sharp and during the course of this tutorial we will create an application which you can see on your screen now. If you go to the file menu and then click on the new you can see a new document appear and this document is inside this container and you can turn them horizontally, vertically and then cascade them as well and you can select them from this menu new list as you can see so during the course of this tutorial we will create this application so go to visual studio create new project select window desktop and then finally windows forms application and I can choose the name MDI proj VC1 and then click OK and this will create this solution for us as you can see now we need two forms for this application one would be the container where the, ne the second form will appear so just rename this first form to main form and when you see this message just click yes now select the form go to the properties and change the t title using text property and I'll make that FDMDI app now to make it a container we need a property called is MDI container is this an MDI container currently it's false to make it true and uh, it will become a container now we need to add a menu strip in this one in this form so just go to menu and toolbars panel and select menu strip and now I will add a few menus file new and then a separator and finally exit and then I will add a windows menu and then tile horizontal tile vertical and finally cascade so what we need to do is when we click on this new button we have a new form appear inside in this container so we need a new form so just right click on the project then add and then windows form and I'll select a windows form and I'll choose a name the cold doc form and that's all we need now I need to add a rich text box control inside it just dock in the parent container now what we need to do when we click on this new menu this doc this form should appear inside this container so how to do that just the name of the form an instance of that form or an object of it and doc form and then doc form dot show now run the application and see what's happening and you can see although the form is appearing but it's outside the container so what we need to do is to attach the object to the container so all we need to do is the object name the form dot and then the property called MDI parent and set it to this so now if you run it it will be inside the container as you can see run another one add another one and another one as you can see now the next thing we need to do is we want a new document this title to be different it should be new document one new document two new document three new document four and so on so how to do that all you need to do is the form dot 
text that will change the title to new document and we need a variable and that should be integer so and we will can create that in here so now if you run at this stage you can see that zero appearing but we want one two three so all we need to do is to increment it S simple as that That's all we need to do. At the start, it would be zero. So zero plus one, that will be one. So new document, one. Ne on incrementation, it will become one plus one, and that will become two, and then new document two. So run it, and you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, what we need to do, if we want here are a list of all these documents exactly like this one so how to do that it's very easy just go to the main form select the menu strip and then find a property called MDI window list item and attach it to one of the menu in this case I want to attach it to windows just select that run the application open a few documents and you can see they are all there it's now there and you can select any document you like and finally we will code these three menus so let's do that as well go to windows generate a click event and all you need to do is lay out MDI and then MDI layout dot horizontal tile horizontal as you can see in the same way for tile vertical they are layout MDI MDI layout dot tile vertical and finally for cascade layout MDI MDI layout dot cascade that's all you need to do run the application open a few sorry run the application open a few windows or documents and then click on horizontal as you can see vertical as you can see and then finally cascade so with this I conclude this video thanks for watching bye now